I thought it would be fun because people always come up to me and say, you know, do you ever see Harvey? Do you ever see Robin? And the fact is, for 30 years, we have remained friends. Harvey, why do you think that is? I think it's mostly because you have hair, you know, <laughs> and I'm just jealous. <laughs> we did just honestly become friends. When you hang out all day long, you know, week after week, it's become friends or hate your life. And yeah, we've, we've been there too. Right? <laughs> we have a new book coming out uh, that she has written. It's called, Hey, Robin Speaks. <laughs> just sit on this, very quiet here, and I will... Thank you so much, Robin. No, actually, you know what? I don't think what people know is I came in as a production assistant, and I think before that you needed someone to be help you on stage. They saw that you were athletic. You could catch eggs like single-handedly. Oh my God, was she so but, great at that? But she, she but the thing, You know the thing that was funny is that we got along off the set. She had jersey hair All back right, in 1986. All right, enough with the jersey hair. And, and so we said, get us the girl with the big hair. Oh, uh, we have pictures right now. It, <laughs> Don't wouldn't... make me pull pictures out, my friend. <laughs> yes. So you were a disc jockey. You were the number one morning man in Philadelphia. Until they fired me, and yes. And they fired you. <laughs> right. And you had nothing to do, and then you got called and, and asked to be the announcer on some obscure kid show. The gig initially was off camera, never seen. No one would know who I was. The creators of the show gave me a little 10 second bit to do, and I, I didn't stink up the room, I guess. And no, so no, then, you did. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that's what they liked. And I was getting the sense that I might be able to work more into it and, and end up then eventually the second banana. You know, when you have somebody to bounce off of, it's better for you if you have stuff to react to. We got Robin involved because- No, we, you got Robin involved because you needed someone to pick on. Well, no, but remember you would do, you would make me laugh. And then one day on the obstacle course, oh, we no. were going around the course. Do you remember this? No, maybe, oh my gosh. And, and for whatever reason, I don't know what it is I did to you that day, but at every that obstacle- day. That, <laughs> that day. That day. Right. You started pouring whipped cream oh, on me and God. hitting me. And I was doing the hair and he was going like oh, this yeah. to me. He was giving me the look and I was like, <laughs> and I think it was gonna be my last day, I'm going for it. But it was fun and we always got, got everybody involved. Cause what else do you think made the show happen? Right. Clean fun. Yeah. So you know, it was good, clean fun. I mean, I can't tell you how many people said we rushed home for dinner to see Double Dare. Parents hanging with their kids, with a huge birthday party every night. And yeah, we made some great choices. Yeah. Three of us are still together. Ready? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> pies, pies in the pants, pants pies, pies in the pants, pies in the pants. pants. Yeah. We, need, we need to get out. Yeah. <laughs>